We, uh, we all have to talk about this, as everybody knows, because what else is there to talk about? This week's presidential election is still completely up for grabs. I think the difference in votes right now is, how many is it, Jeff? It's like 300 and something votes. Right, that's, that's about as many fans as I have. That's the state. That was a joke. Uh, I've got 400 fans easy. <laughs> 410, 412, no. Uh, and, and, and all eyes are on the state of Florida. It's uh, the most intense controversy, of course, involves, involves uh, Florida's Palm Beach County, where uh, apparently thousands of confused senior citizens who intended, they intended to vote for Vice President Al Gore, accidentally voted for Pat Buchanan instead. It happens. <laughs> who here hasn't done that? Now... <laughs> Now, many believe that the ballot the seniors uh, were using was very confusing. Others say it's the seniors themselves who are to blame. So we thought we'd take a little time here at the top of the show to address this delicate issue involving our nation's precious elderly in a little segment we'd like to call Nice Going, Seniors! <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. All right, turn that off. All they're saying is fleeble flobble. All right. Now let's talk about this. Voting for Buchanan when they meant to pick Gore was a pretty strange thing for the seniors to do, you'll have to admit. But it's not that surprising when you look at some of the other unusual things seniors have been doing in the Palm Beach area lately. Take a look. Is baby hungry? Does baby want to eat? Here you go, baby. <laughs> oh, beans. Oh, I could use that. Let's see. Oh, beans were nice. Well, I'll take those. Oh, and there's pet food. I really need that. Now, that, that may seem unfair to say. To be fair, though, to be absolutely fair, the ballots that they used in Palm Beach County were kind of confusing. It's a so-called butterfly ballot. There it is right there, which means the candidates are on either side, like a butterfly's wings. But actually, other counties in Florida used equally confusing bug-related ballots. It's true. <laughs> Broward County had the millipede ballot, which was very confusing. <laughs> very hard to figure out. Dade County had the ladybug ballot. People still trying to figure that one out. And of course, there was Orange County's Beard of Bees ballot. It's very hard to figure out. It's not right. It's not their fault. You know, and also, it's not really fair for us to attack seniors without giving them a chance to tell their side of the story. Here with her first-hand account of her experiences on Election Day is Palm Beach resident Mrs. Denise Ryan. Let's find out what she has to say. Great. Hello there, Mrs. Ryan. Now, welcome... Welcome to the show. Uh, tell us exactly your thoughts and what exactly happened to you. Well, I am just hopping mad about this ballot mess. Okay. Now, I vote in every election, and Tuesday was no different, except I overslept and didn't get out of the house until 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. But uh, be that as it may, I started to go down to the elementary school to cast my vote, and on the way, I past Elaine's house. Okay. Uh -huh. You know Elaine. Uh, she lost her poor William t two winters ago, right before their anniversary. Yeah. Well, uh, it seems as though he dropped dead right in the middle of a price club yeah. of a heart attack. Okay, now, so, you, about the voting, were well, you at all... Well, anyway, it turns the... out that Stacy, her oldest daughter, just got <laughs> married two weeks ago to a very nice young fellow. He owns his own business, a partnership with his brother. I think right. they rehab houses. That's and great. Some Did you have trouble with the ballot? Was there a part of the ballot that you felt... I think felt... they got a little head start from her parents. Uh, not that Elaine didn't help out, what with William's railroad retired. All right. Let's see, we'll, we'll get to the bottom now. Now, uh, one problem, folks, is that from the time that we're children, we're all taught to respect the elderly. But after this voting mess, will our nation's young people continue to look up to their elders? Sadly, I'm not so sure. Those seniors ruin the country! I never want to be a senior, and I never will! Oh! Oh! My son is dead! 
Thanks a lot, seniors. My poor boy. Now, they were, lived on the ground floor. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> lawyers get worried if I don't say that. Now, to be fair, the, uh, the seniors did have legitimate gripes about the voting process. So we here at Late Night thought we'd help out by setting up our very own telephone hotline just for seniors from the Palm Beach area so that they could call in and tell us exactly what happened to them and vent some of their frustration. Uh, so let's check out the responses we got from those seniors right now on our hotline. Let's give a listen. Anyway, uh, moving on, our next uh, topic... When I finally dragged it out of her, it turns out he's a mere boy, only 28 years that's, old. That's and in no great. position that's... to argue, but I mean, come on. Okay. <laughs> Lovely woman. Well, uh, folks, seniors may have had a hard time this year, but we can all take comfort in knowing that 50 years from now, seniors won't have to deal with confusing old voting booths anymore. By then, we'll have futuristic voting machines that will surely make things much easier. What are you? How do I work you? I hate new things! I hate new things! I hate new things! Ah. Now, another thing about this whole mess that we should... Probably. It's odd. My phone's ringing. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to reach Conrad O'Brien. Wait a minute, folks. I, I recognize that voice. It's England's Queen Mum, everybody. It's the Queen Mum. This is exciting. Everyone loves the Queen Mum. Uh, how are you, Your Majesty? I'm outraged. As a senior citizen, I'm deeply offended by your portrayals of the elderly. And I hold you, Corbin O'Burns, and responsible. No, no, it's, it's Conan O'Brien, Your Majesty. Oh, please excuse me, Cosgrove. <laughs> Look, you seem like a nice young man. Well, well, thank you. But if I see one more offensive stereotype, I'll have you flogged mercilessly, along with the rest of the filthy Irish. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll try to do better, Your Majesty. I certainly hope so, combat. Ta-ta! Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Angry woman. And finally, with all this talk about seniors, I think it's time for a refreshing perspective that can bring all of us together, no matter what age. So here with a song on the subject of our beloved elderly, our late night's very own husband and wife soul singers, Sweet Tree and Morgan. <laughs> gonna chase us all Every mountain that rides is gonna fall Yeah, we're all getting older day by day Slowly but surely turning wrinkled and gray When the times you gotta start spreading the love And you and me, baby, fit together like a hand Must 
be singing about the elderly and bringing us all together and making us one community. Not, not singing about how he might be gay and how you want to kick his ass and... Oh, sorry. And Jerry, what the hell are you doing? You're married. <laughs> Sweet Tree and Morgan, everybody. Thank you. Well, that's it. That's our take on things. We're going to break when we come back. Eric McCormick from Will & Gray is going to be here. Stick around. We'll see you in a second.